Faster Wi-Fi will come to Singapore later this year. The government is launching what's known as Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, it's to help meet growing demand for more bandwidth and less lag. Here's Marcus Tan on what this means for people and businesses. For the robots of Changi General Hospital, connectivity is their lifeblood. To do their work, they must communicate with lifts, doors, each other, and even with patients. And Wi-Fi 6E promises to take it all to a whole new level. This is important because many of the things that we do with robotics and other parts of our digital infrastructure rely on that high-speed transmission of data. And we need all our different modalities of data transmission, whether it's the fiber, whether it's through the telcos, 4G and then 5G, and whether it's Wi-Fi within buildings, you want all of them to be at the same or similar speed. The government says it is allocating 500 megahertz of spectrum in the 6 gigahertz band for Wi-Fi. What all that tech talk means is that it's making connectivity faster and more powerful for people and businesses. And in the hospital setting, that could mean the difference between life and death. Having faster Wi-Fi means the hospital bots will be able to perform their jobs without any lag, and it also frees up the doctors and nurses to perform higher value jobs, such as responding to patients on the ground. The government says the rollout will help meet increasing demand for users that require intensive bandwidth and minimal delay. It would also make connections smoother for users switching between cellular and Wi-Fi, and complement upgrades in the nationwide broadband network. The advisory panel tasked to guide the transition says the possibilities are endless. You can absolutely see this in construction, in logistics, in other sectors. And frankly, I think you unlock the imagination of use cases by showcasing uh, one, fairly effective, but also complex as a, as a workspace, right, where there is a, a mission critical nature of healthcare. If you can do it well in healthcare, I think you can unlock uh, use cases in other sectors very easily. The hope is that powerful connectivity can help robotics support existing manpower by taking over routine tasks and performing multiple duties. And maybe even foster working relationships between humans and robots.